Hi, I'm Steve Henriksen with uh, Roundtable Realty. I'm always interested to tell and show people differences between suburbs in Jacksonville and historic districts. We have three historic districts in, in Jacksonville. Let's start with the oldest, Springfield. Springfield was established in 1869. You know, this year we've celebrated 50 years since landing on the moon in 1969, but Springfield was started 100 years before that in 1869. Imagine all the things that have happened since then. Just north of downtown, the population of about 2,000 people in only about a square mile of the area. Contrast that with 32259. The total population doubled according to the census from 2000 to 2010, and it's just continued to continue to grow since then. In Springfield, many of us think of the architecture as Victorian, but actually it's Queen Anne, which was a, a popular style that came about in the Victorian era. And also some prairie style or craftsman, also called American craftsman, which is part of the American arts and crafts movement. And uh, also some revivalist or colonial revivalist. Inside also beautiful woodwork, and that includes high baseboards, often high ceilings, picture molding, crown molding, cased windows and doors, solid wooden doors, glass doorknobs. You do get smaller closets and smaller bathrooms. Most of the bedrooms upstairs. Sometimes you have beautiful railings and banisters. Beautiful, original heart pine that's just stunning. Well, an iconic image of Springfield is probably as you're leaving Springfield on Main Street, the uh, Jacksonville skyline. Or maybe it's a beautiful front porch with American flag waving and a, it's a close-knit community bonded by frequent community events. You have the ability to walk from your point front porch to a restaurant, brewery. What about in 32259? Well, if you're watching this in the Jacksonville area, you're probably more familiar with the architecture in the suburbs. It's uh, homes built on concrete slabs. Mostly, you're on one level with um, Maybe a, maybe a living room and a dining room up front, but, a, but almost all of them, it's a pretty open plan with the kitchen open to a great room or a larger family room. And as you get newer and newer homes, then you have more and more toward a big kitchen island with granite countertops and maybe a big great room. You've got a patio on the back. Sometimes the patio is covered. Sometimes you have a swimming pool. Often you've got fenced yards larger yards than you would have in Springfield. These homes were built in the uh, late 80s and through the 90s and in the 2000s and still being built today. You may walk or ride a bike to school or church or to a store, but uh, you're not gonna be doing that as often as you would in Springfield. You're mostly gonna be in the car. What's a symbolic photo of 32259? I'd say it's that beautiful sunset as residents are crossing the Julian Creek Bridge on the way home. Maybe it's the kids playing soccer on the soccer field or playing baseball. Both Springfield and 32259 currently have a significant retail updates. Springfield has breweries and restaurants opening and some clothing shops and uh, residents tend to know about these and they're loyal to these shops. People who live in 32259 on the other hand have just seen a major retail center, Durban Pavilion, open up. Believe it or not, it's going to have more retail square footage than uh, St. John's Town Center which has about 1.33 million square feet of retail space. From April to October, only about 45 homes sold in Springfield. There's a lot more sales in 32259. Looking just at new construction, 138 that sold between April and October. Between April and October 2019, a buyer could have purchased in Springfield a home about 2,000 square feet with three or four bedrooms for about $242,000. So if you were going to get new construction in 32259, $400,000 and it's about 2,700 square feet. Or you could have bought a house that was already built in an established neighborhood, 2,300 square feet for $325,000. Hey, please feel free to text, call, or email me if you'd like to see what's out there.